Methods currently used around the world for predicting the development of COVID-19 and other pandemics fail to report precisely on the best and worst case scenarios. Newly developed prediction method for epidemics, published in Nature Physics, solve this problem. It is about understanding best and worst case scenarios, and the fact that worst case is one of the most important things to keep track of when navigating through pandemics, regardless whether it be in Denmark, the EU, the USA or the WHO. If you are only presented with an average estimate for the development of an epidemic, not knowing how bad it possible can get, then it is difficult to act politically, says Professor Sune Lehman, one of four authors of the article Fixed Time Descriptive Statistics Underestimate Extremes of E. Researchers Jonas L. Jewell, Kare Graisbel, Lars Engbo Christensen and Sune Lehman, all from DTU Compute, act as advisors to the National Board of Health in Denmark during the corona crisis. And partly based on their own experience as advisors, they have become aware that the existing methods of projecting the development of epidemics such as COVID-19 have a problem in describing the extremes possibilities of the expected development. Epidemics are unpredictable, disease outbreaks are fundamentally stochastic processes. The same disease introduced in the same population can infect a large number of people or disappear quickly without having a particular prevalence. It depends in part on coincidences, explains postdoc Jonas L. Jewell. It is precisely the unpredictability of epidemics which makes it so difficult to make the right decisions everywhere in society when it hits. How many beds and respirators will there be a need for? And how much can we reduce this demand by enforcing restrictions? However, the general unpredictability is just one of many problems in estimating the development of an epidemic. It is not just the unpredictable nature of epidemics that makes it difficult to predict their course, it is also our lack of knowledge about the disease's characteristics and prevalence in society at any given time. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.